Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 67 plate uh, Ford Ranger 2.2 TDCI. Um, it is the automatic gearbox in this one. Uh, it is the Euro 6 model as well. Um, obviously, it's not a standard limited. Uh, we have built this one up ourselves. So, uh, as you can see, you've got the uh, wide arch kit on it. It has brand new Wolf Race Amazon uh, black and polished alloy wheels uh, with Devante uh, Territora all terrain tyres fitted. Uh, so, those are all brand new. Uh, you have a Raptor style front grille on it. You have the uh, front uh, spoiler bar and you have the front bonnet guard on it as well. Uh, we've also put an additional rear tint on the back end of it. Um, it just, for standard Ford tints, just um, a bit too clear for my liking, but there we go. Um, so, one owner from new, it has covered 28,000 miles. Uh, I think it's pretty sure it's XLX Auto Lease. If it's not that, it'll be Ford leasing themselves. Um, but great all round condition, it isn't a truck that's been used from a heavily from a commercial basis at all. Um, I'd suggest it's just been used from a, really from a, a personal point of view. Um, and then condition wise, there's not a lot to really point out to you. So I'm just gonna video, uh, a good video on it so you get a good idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. So up there on the roof, all good, no issues. Windscreen is a heated quick clear front windscreen. Coming down onto your bonnet, I know it's got some rainwater on it, but uh, that's all good. They don't tend to chip up, to be honest with you, these bonnets. So, And then obviously you've got that bonnet spoiler on there as well. You've got this Raptor style grill on it. And it does, and that uh, front spoiler bar gives it a really aggressive front end look, doesn't it? Um, condition wise on the front end, passenger headlamp unit's all good passenger front bumper corner all good your fog light down the front there that's all good if i look get down on my knees give you the video down the side of it no dents or dings to point out to you really straight and tidy to be fair uh it's it's the weather we're battling the weather at the moment so it could do with an additional valet but obviously that would always happen before it goes out the door anyway these alloy wheels they're a good looking wheel if you ask me um just because we tend to go for polished and black because if you go for an all black wheel uh, the wheel kind of just tends to get lost whereas you go for this polished and black it tends to stand out a little bit all down to personal choice obviously but there we go coming around to the front end of it that's all good driver's side headlamp unit they're auto lights on these things so the headlamp unit's all good driver's side bumper corner's all good front fog light down there is all good as well just get down low again and give you a viewpoint down the side of it again on the driver's side. No dents or dings, all really straight and tidy. As I say, these wheels and tyres are brand new. They're all load rated to the pickup. We are a Wolf Race Isle wheel dealer, so everything is done properly. Arches, good condition. Wings, all good. Now the 2.2 six speed auto, I know everybody always goes for the 3.2. Um, the 3.2 every time we put one on a rolling road it comes out at 170 brake horsepower these 2.2 is 160 brake horsepower as standard uh, with a remap we can get these mapped up to uh, knocking on the door 200 brake horsepower um, you know one of our customers um, toes with his 2.2 auto that we've remapped and supplied um, all over the country never has any issues with it at all um front door glass that's all clear and good front driver side door again is all good as well driver side rear door is all good driver side a rear glass as i say has got that additional tint on it side steps they need a clean okay as i say we're battling the weather but the side steps are all good as well just getting down low Nothing untoward down here at all. We've left the limited badges on for now. If you don't want the limited badges on, we could remove those. Same with the 4x4 badge on the back end. It just depends on how much 
you want to use. The arches that we use, the bolt-on look arches that we use, can also utilise your factory mud flaps as well, um, which I just think is handy. Uh, looking in your arches and stuff, all pretty clean and tidy. Rear tub, obviously arches, all good. Tub itself, all looking pretty good. Isle of Wheel again on the back is a brand new unit. Factory mud flap as I've already explained. Rear light unit, driver side rear is all good. And then looking down the side of the vehicle, straight and tidy. And then looking down on your tub. Yes, I know it's got a bit of rainwater on it, but all pretty straight and tidy, isn't it? Got the chrome rollover bars. If you want a hard top on the back, we can quote you for a hard top. Same with the roller shutter and all of that. You've got so many options with these pickups, to be fair. Rear tailgate, that's all in good order. Straight and tidy, no dents or dings. As you can see, you've got reverse parking sensors on the vehicle as well. No tow bars, never had a tow bar fitted. Again, we can quote you for a tow bar should you wish. Now inside, excuse the leaves, um, but inside the cab or the back of it is all good. You've got a load liner, which is in good condition. Got some dead leaves in it at the moment, but obviously we can clean those out. Look at the back of your tub. So this bit here, back of your um, double cab, um, that's straight and tidy. Uh, it's not had, that doesn't appear to have had any abuse. We have a power point here. We have your tie down things that are still present, thingy my bobs. Um, now this is dirty, okay. I know I'm showing you this, it should be clean. It's been out in, the, in all weathers at the moment, so there's, there's dead leaves and stuff. But the key thing when you're looking at pickups is, if you look at this bit of painted bit here, you can quite often tell how hard they've worked because if they've been used as a, from a builder, farmer and whatever, and this is all scratched full of gravel and cement and all of that, you know it's had a hard life. This thing's full of dead leaves. <clears throat> but we'll get those cleaned off for you, okay? Top of your tailgate. So we have a few little marks, okay? Nothing major. Now you can buy, um, and they're for, for nothing, uh, rear tub caps um, that um, will cover all of these areas, okay? Um, up to you. We haven't, we're not doing anything with it because every customer is different. So if I put those on it, somebody will want a hard top on it. So you get my yeah, idea, you know. These things are so customizable. They're like a bloody transporter nowadays. There's so much stuff you can do to them. Uh, passenger side rear light unit, that's all good. Passenger side bumper corner, that's all good as well. And if I look down the side of the vehicle, you can see no dents or dings. Rear tub's all good. Other wheels are good. Fuel flap, just push it in, that releases your fuel flap. That is your fuel filler, okay? I know people open these up and think that there's a, a petrol cap missing, but there isn't. That is the Ford fuel filler. You just push your thing into it. It's whatever, anti this and anti that. But and then obviously you've got your add glue filler in there as well. Passenger side rear door glass is good. Passenger side rear doors all good. Passenger front doors all good. Passenger door glass is all good. And uh, side steps and sills this side all good front wing etc this side all looking good as well mirror unit i know we've got a cracked mirror on the driver's side indicators all good um so we'll get that replaced behind your door handles those are clean and tidy look just quickly show you your door edges your door edges are in good condition no signs of dents dings chipping or anything like that opening up your passenger side rear door door card on the internal side is clean and tidy electric rear windows entry seals this side okay so we've got a little bit of a ding there no big deal is it um, but look at your plastics your plastics are in cracking condition as are your carpets back of the seats as well it's obviously not had young kids in here kicking the back of the seats the rear seats themselves don't really look used do they positive side of the limited over the um, 
wild track is you get the full leather don't send don't take me to court if it's not leather okay it could be a bit of faux leather going on in here but anyway it looks nicer than the orange thing that you get with the wild track doesn't it isofix fittings in the back here as well we have armrest comes down cup holders essential obviously carpet etc is all good passenger door card a couple of minor minor little marks on the on there but door card itself all pretty clean and tidy seals entry seals couple of minor marks there caught the seat belt in it haven't they but carpets look at your carpets underneath your seats and stuff okay when these pickups are worked hard you're never going to get them clean but the carpets are nice and clean and tidy on this glove box all good Face of your glove box, top of your dashboard, that's all clean and tidy. Looking at your passenger seat trim, again, clean and tidy. Excuse the camera. But everything is as you would expect it to be there as well. Driver side rear door card, again, clean and tidy. Entry seals, again, a little ding there. <sighs> if people um, close the door with a seatbelt, not around back in, you can dent them. I, I assume that's how it's done anyway. Carpets in the back again, clean and tidy. Back of the seats, clean and tidy. Rear seats themselves, they just look lovely, don't they? They don't really look as though they've been used at all. So you've got Isofix, you've got two lots of Isofix on the back end of it, okay? Driver's side door card. Internally, etc. All good. Electric windows front and rear. You can turn your rear windows off using this button. Obviously, door handle, central locking, entry seals. A little bit dirtier this side because we've been getting in and out of it with the work boots on, so we'll get this all recleaned for you. But and you've got a little bit of hole in your carpet mat, but I'm afraid, yeah, that is part and parcel of it, isn't it? side of the seats here always crack if it's a deal breaker we can get a new panel put in okay um but um yeah that's the only thing with any of the rangers to be fair that have got the leather while track or limited they all do it auto lights front fog lights rear fog lights dashboard illumination um this is for your lights and your roll bar uh, electric folding mirrors we have a bonnet release there. I'll pull that up because we'll show you under there in a second. <coughs> Getting into the vehicle, firing it up. Fires up fine as you would expect. Obviously, let me close that door. Oh, and obviously, I've just opened up the bonnet, haven't I? So it's telling us we've got the bonnet open on it at the moment. But you've got this uh, lovely dashboard. So you get information on this side and you get information on this side. And you can change those using these buttons on here so there's all sorts of bits of stuff that you can do so you can change it to temperature from fuel and rev counter speedometer uh, and then there's a whole sort of display here of options that you can play around with on the vehicle okay driver assist you got your add blue status rear park pilot trailer control all sorts of stuff going on in there isn't there settings here yeah and then left hand one here um, will generally be changed using these buttons here and you can check your stuff to do with your phone and the entertainment system. You've got a lovely thick leather multi-function steering wheel, cruise control and speed limiter on this side, your horns in the center of your steering wheel. We have uh, volume controls, voice activation, mute button. Uh, once your telephone's linked up, you can answer it on here or you can answer it on your touch screen search controls for your stereo and then you've got this lovely touch screen so you've got dab am and fm on this vehicle you've got heated uh driver and passenger seats uh audio um obviously will give you uh bluetooth telephone bluetooth music am fm and all of that malarkey dab climate control you can operate your climate control through your touch screen or through your buttons down here um, your phone system obviously as i said bluetooth phone and bluetooth music uh, you can download uh, some Connect Mobile apps and then settings. There's loads of stuff you can do on here to do with that as well. 
Um, looks like you've got Android Auto on here as well. Uh, Wi-Fi, yeah, you've got to have a play around with it. Haven't you? <clears throat> and then um, you can control your climate control through here, so your heater settings, blower fans, you do have a CD player. Uh, you can volume control on here, as well as the volume control on your steering wheel. We have air recirculation, heated quick clear windscreen, air conditioning, auto, obviously it's auto climate control, so you can set it on whatever temperature you set it on. Heated rear window, you throw this one on, it'll throw everything up at your front windscreen to clear it quickly, and this one will obviously put stuff onto your front windscreen. Heated seats, driver and passenger can be operated down here as well. You can turn it all on by pressing that button. We have loads of power points. We've got two 12 volt powers here. You've got two USB powers down there as well. We have hill descent control. We have electronic stability program. It runs in two wheel drive on the rear normally, and then you can select either the four high or four low on here. Select four low, you can only do that at a standstill, okay? Obviously auto um, gear lever, a little bit of wear on the silver on the top there. It's, it's not unusual to be fair. It's quite common on these things. Uh, cup holders, looking down in between your seats, it's clean and tidy, there's no old McDonald's and all of that malarkey down there. Top of your dashboard's all good. And let's show you under that bonnet. So, we've popped it from the inside. Somewhere, uh, am I going to be able to do this whilst holding the camera? So, there's your yellow thing, I'll just move that to the side. Oh, fairly handy, it's on hydraulic struts, so that makes my life slightly easier. Clean and tidy under there, we've got a few leaves, okay, we've got some trees at work at the moment, they're just, yeah, storms and everything. There's your cooler, you can see it's the correct colour cord, cord, there's no contamination in it, it's all good. Brake fluid over there, your air filter will be in there, your windscreen wash is there. It's all very clean and tidy under here, to be fair. Battery. Uh, but everything's as it should be, okay? Your wing bolts and your bonnet bolts are original paintwork on those. You can just see it's not had any paintwork off on the front end or anything. But all in all, nice and clean and tidy. I haven't shut that properly. I'll shut it off, I've done the video, alright? So, um, 28,000 miles, one owner from you warranted miles from the lease company we fitted all of the nice kit to it it looks a million dollars doesn't it 60 to 70 photos are on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance if you're worried about who you're buying off check out our reputation online we are on google instagram and linkedin and facebook i think that's about it um and if you want to give us a call 01905 672 080 well done, you made it through 18 minutes of me waffling on about this thing. Um, but hopefully you can see it's a clean and tidy truck. Needs a quick final valet, but obviously it's got to go through our PDI process and all of that malarkey anyway. Uh, thanks for looking at the video. Feel free to get in touch. Cheers.